OK, um, so in this example, let's go ahead and identify again the GCF. Now, again, when I'm looking at identifying the GCF, basically what I want to do is identify each and every term separately. So don't worry about trying to, like, I think when you guys try to do the GCF, you know, when you're looking at all these terms, it can kind of be overwhelming. But if you just look at the numbers, therefore, to find the GCF, Catherine, what would you say would be the GCF of my numbers? Four. Four. Very good. And then let's look at the variable k. And you can see that every single term has a variable k. So Tiffany, the um, GCF of my variable k is? Tiffany? K squared, thank you, just for answering the K squared. And then Ashley, what was the, the coefficient, what was my GCF for my M? M cubed. All right, because you can see that is the lowest, that's going to be the highest power that's going to divide into all of them. So again, we're just going to use our rules of exponents. Now, since I'm dividing it out, I'm going to rewrite it as a product. And therefore, the quotient is going to leave me with 1 plus 2k squared. This becomes m to the 0, which is just m. And then minus 3k. k That becomes k to the 0, which is just 1 times m to the first power. So your final answer would be 4k squared m cubed times 1 plus 2k squared minus 3m.